welcome to my home. today of where we live. When we moved back from LA to South Florida, we really didn't know where were we were going to live. We stayed at my parents for a while and then finally we found this place. We absolutely love it. I hope that you love it too. I'm going to take you around and I think we'll go ahead and start in the kitchen. So follow me over here. I loved this kitchen from the moment I saw it. It's one of the reasons that I wanted to live here. I just love how white it is. I love the wood cabinetry. Just everything is really clean and beautiful. I personally don't cook a lot, um, but Harry, my husband, loves to cook, so this is definitely more of his space. Um, but I'm definitely in here I'm making smoothies and all that fun stuff. This is probably my favorite corner of the kitchen. It has all of my cookbooks. Um, and the Nespresso machine. I just got this new cookbook from the Scram line, which is like a really fun baking book. So I definitely wanna make this vegan chocolate raspberry recipe in here. Um, so hopefully I'll get in the kitchen and bake a little bit more. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. All right, so this is our kitchen table. When I first moved in here, I thought we were gonna to have to get a new one, but this one actually worked out really beautifully. I love the white marble. If you can't tell by like the floors, <laughs> and the table. I am obsessed with white marble. And we did this beautiful watercolor rug underneath. You see a bunch of dog toys here. And I love lucite chairs. I'm like obsessed with these. And also, if you can around the house, count how many plants you see, because these are my baby. This is a mother's tongue or a snake plant, as some people call it. And it's actually a little bit poisonous to dogs. So that's why we keep it up here and not where the dogs can reach it. All right. Let me show you the living room. So this probably gets the most attention in the house. This is where me and Harry hang out when we have friends over. It is just, this is like the most comfortable couch in the world. I love it. I love all the things that we have out on the coffee table. This is actually the gift that Harry got me for our wedding. It is um, the best trip of our lives. It was the trip we got engaged on. So I love this. I think it's so sweet. And then you can kind of see we have these two end tables. So we have one right here. And then we also have one over here. And these house kind of all of my husband's <laughs> knickknacks and some of my plants. So that's like the compromise. He loves knickknacks and I love plants. He has some really cool stuff though. He loves cause dolls. He actually collects them and they're really cool. Um, and then these are Kasumi pumpkins, which are really special. So he goes really crazy over ordering things like this. And you know, I think they look cool around the house. And these were actually his from his childhood home, these wood pieces. And I really, really love these. I think they're really special. Just something I want to know that this is my fiddle plant. I just think that this plant is super beautiful. I had to get all new plants when I moved back from LA, so it was a little bit emotional, but uh, they're all, all, all my new ones are doing good here. I'm gonna show you one more thing in here, so come over this way. So this is the start of our collage wall. So we're not done, we're far from done yet, but these are our engagement photos, which I absolutely love. Um, Harry's sister got them to us for a wedding gift, and then this is Harry's nephew and a drawing he did. So we have to get our other nieces up here and just some other memories, but I just think it's really nice to have a cute little gallery wall and I love how it's coming out so far. All right, so this is the balcony. When I saw this view, I instantly wanted this place. I had always um, compromised views in my last place and I've never lived in a place with a great view. Uh, so this is kind of like a little treat to myself and. Seriously, I'm so thankful for it every morning when I wake up. It is just it's the best part about living here is just seeing the ocean, breathing the fresh air, and just really putting things into perspective before I start my day. All right, time to show you the rest of the house. Let's go. All right, so this is my bedroom. Um, so Harry sleeps on this side. I sleep on that side. And yeah, our bed's just super comfy. We got all the dogs up here. Again, you'll see Harry's little cause collectibles he keeps around the house, which are super cute. 
I thought it'd be really fun to show you what I keep next to my bedside, so let me show you over here. I like to keep a humidifier next to my bed. Um, the AC in apartments, I feel like just really dry out your skin, so it's a good tip if you um, notice you're breaking out, it could be from your vents, so always sleep with a humidifier. I always keep hand cream and body cream next to my bed, <laughs> and a little ring holder for all my rings. All right, let me keep going. Another one of my plant babies, love that one. So we really lucked out in this apartment because we got two closets, so this is my closet. And I'm still kind of organizing it, so if you want a closet tour later, I would love to show you right now. It's a little bit of a chaotic mess in here, um, but there's so many sentimental things in here that I absolutely love. Something I recently got from my mom, actually, is this Dior bag. She <laughs> has had this for so long, it's vintage, and she gave it to me and I love it so much. I think it's really pretty. And I just try to keep all my stuff, you know, as organized as possible, but I change so many times during the day. I feel like this closet is always in chaos. <laughs> and then in between our closets is Harry and I's ketubah. Um, this is basically the Jewish law binding us to marriage. So this is what we signed on our wedding day. I love this, it's so pretty. And then right here is Harry's closet, but um, I don't know if he wants this in here today, so just a little sneak peek. All right, and now let me show you my bathroom. This is one of my favorite parts of the apartment. I feel like everything is my favorite part, but I love the white marble tile that goes up the wall. It's so pretty. Um, we have two sinks here. This is my sink. This is Harry's sink. And what I love is that this bathroom has two showers. So if you wanted to, two people could shower at once. <laughs> and of course, Harry and I love our squatty potty. I'm not sure if anyone else else out there watches Shark Tank or loves Shark Tank products, but that is one of our favorites. Time to go over to the other side, so I'll see you over there. All right, so this is our second guest bathroom over here. Come on in, don't be scared. So it's just a small, tiny bathroom. We actually got this in Vietnam in a fishing village where all of the fishermen live on houses on the water. So Harry wanted to bring that back, so we're gonna frame this and put this up. One of my favorite parts of this bathroom though is the shower curtain I got. So I just love that it matches the tile and the stone detailing on the little hangers. It's just really pretty. I got it super cheap at Target. I don't know, I just love it though. It's so gorgeous. But of course, rarely anyone showers in this bathroom. <laughs> Come on. This is actually so cool. So my husband, something that's a fun fact and maybe you've seen throughout is he is a little bit of a collector and I'll switch with you so you can see the lighting better. Um, he's a little bit of a collector and he's always getting really cool art. So he got this retina skateboard that we hung up on the wall that I just think is really cool. I have really girly taste and he has a really big eye for street art and things that hold value. So I just think it's really cool that we can mix our styles together. I really love this. And lastly, welcome to the Melisfit home office. This is where I work every day. This is truly where the magic happens. We got the crazy dogs running around. <laughs> you guys have fun? They're so funny. So this is my office. And over here is basically my makeup station. So I always like to do my makeup in really good light. So I don't do it in the bathroom. I sit right here with my up close mirror and I do my makeup. It's like one of the most relaxing times in the day for me. And I hung these up just because I really thought, think it's soothing when I'm working to have some nice lighting. My Himalaya salt lamp, which I love. This is my desk. This is my computer. I actually work on a desktop and a laptop, so it's really important that I have both here at all times. This is my podcasting microphone. So just everything I need right here. And then this is my pull-out couch. So when we do have guests come to stay, this actually opens up into a bed. It's really cool. I don't know, I'm like, should I show you? It's really cool. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna show you just because it's so cool. So basically, if you have someone come over to stay, just take these pillows off. The dogs are gonna go crazy. You pull this out, and then it's so easy. This goes back, 
And then you just pull this out. I mean, it's so easy, and we have a really comfortable mattress topper, so anyone can come and hang out here. One of the last things I wanna show you in here is a painting from our wedding. This was really special. I keep a lot of our wedding photos in here. I keep this in here. This was painted live during our ceremony, which was really cool. This is a photo a friend got for us when we got engaged. That's from our engagement trip. And then I have another photo down there, which you probably can't see from our wedding. And of course, another plant. So this is really like my happy place. I love it in here. Um, yeah, so this is my office. And that's the tour. I hope you loved being here at my house today. I loved having you here. If there's anywhere you wanna see a little bit more of, let me know in the comments below, maybe a closet tour or more of a kitchen tour. I just wanted to make sure we could fit everything in today. If you're not already subscribed to the Melissa YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. I hope you have an amazing day. And like I always say, spread love and positivity wherever you go. Bye.